Hello and welcome to another uh, video. Uh, today's video will be showing um, uh, rig control um, remotely as well as audio from, uh, from Skype. Uh, we'll talk about um, uh, the things that you need to uh, accomplish this um, as well as some uh, very basic setup. Uh, I'm not going to cover every setup uh, every point of setup because it would be a uh, long video and um, there are other videos that I have made and other people have made um, that document some of the other setups um, a little bit better here. So uh, with that, let's get started. Um, so again, the point of this video is uh, being able to control your radio um, as well as uh, using your radio to send and receive audio from your uh, radio uh, to wherever you are in the world. Uh, you could be in another room in your uh, in your house. Uh, you could be uh, um, uh, out on the uh, out on the road on a three G or uh, LTE network. Um, you could be in another country, even uh, connected Wi Fi, whatever it may be. Um, you'll be able to control uh, your radio as well as uh, use it uh, on the uh, on the air, uh, which is great. Uh, so let's uh, let's get started. Uh, you're going to need three things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need rig control software. Uh, rig control software could be um, uh, Ham Radio uh, Deluxe, uh, Comcat, um, and um, I think it's uh, DX uh, Labs. Um, I think is the name of the uh, software. Yeah, DX Lab. Um, Ham Radio Deluxe or Comcat, um, and I'm sure there's other programs out there um, that would uh, work just fine too. Um, FL Digi maybe, um, stuff like that. So you're going to need a, uh, a rig control uh, program, uh, number one. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need Skype. So you're going to need Skype on your uh, on your Shaq's uh, computer. Uh, you're also going to need Skype on whatever device that you're going to be using um, the audio uh, through. It could be your iPhone, it could be your iPad or Android device, um, it could be another uh, uh, another computer, a laptop you take with you. Um, so you're going to need the Skype program and you're going to need two Skype accounts. Uh, one of the Skype accounts will be for the host computer, so that account will be signed into Skype on your Shaq's computer. And the second account will be on the remote device, on your iPhone or Android or your second laptop, whatever it might be. Um, so you'll need two Skype accounts. And lastly, the last thing you're going to need is you're going to need um, some sort of uh, VNC uh, uh connection, uh, screen sharing uh, connection. Uh, you can use uh, Real VNC, uh, Team Viewer, um, iTeleport, uh, one of those uh, services um, uh, you're going to uh, you're going to need. I use Team Viewer uh, for uh, my uh, screen sharing uh, needs and it works uh, it works great. It works real well. In fact actually um, I'm using Team Viewer right now. Uh, to remote into my Shaq's PC from my Mac. So, and it, it works great. Um, I am sitting next to my uh, radio, but my Shaq computer is in a position where I can't reach it from where I'm sitting. So, uh, using remote uh, 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 screen sharing software really uh, helps out a lot. So, having said that, uh, we'll dive in here and uh, we'll get going. Um, obviously, you're going to need to set up your rig control uh, first, and I'm not going to go through um, all that setup, but if you have either a newer radio with a built-in USB port that can uh, pass audio through uh, to and from the USB uh, port on your radio to your computer, as well as uh, rig control, um, you're good there. Um, you can use a signal link uh, to accomplish the audio interface um, from the computer to the radio uh, with a cat, a dedicated cat cable for rig control, um, whatever it may be. In other words, if you already have rig control program already set up and configured your radio, you're all set. So you can jump to the next step, which is Skype. Um, 
So um, for Skype, what you'll need to do is get on the uh, on your Shaq's computer. Um, if you have Windows 10, you probably already have Skype, um, and you'll need to open it up and get it set up. So I'll go ahead and um, I'll open Skype here. So once you have Skype open, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get it set up and configured. And to do that here, um, you'll go through the whole sign-in process and you'll be taken to a screen like this. I'm going to click on the three ellipses here and I'm going to click on settings. And really the only thing that you need to do is for the Skype audio, you need to make sure that you have your... Um, either signal link or radio, whatever your um, playback and uh, recording um, audio device uh, is for your radio. So whether it's a signal link or it's built into your radio, whatever it is, um, you need to set uh, those accordingly here. So in the, my case, I'm using uh, one USB cable for rig control and audio. Um, so I just uh, select uh, that from there. And that's all that you need to do in terms of Skype. Um, you're all set there. One of the bummers is this current the current version of Skype, um, and I believe it's version 12 or something. I can't remember. Um, you're going to need, uh, or rather, one of the drawbacks is Skype used to be able to uh, um, have um, auto answer incoming calls from uh, your contact list, which is great. Um, it just made things a little more simple. However, in this current version of Skype, they don't. Microsoft got rid of that, so that feature is no longer there. Um, but at least you can still remote in uh, using a, a Team Viewer. Uh, you can remote in and answer your uh, Skype call from your uh, phone or whatever manually, um, and uh, uh, so it's uh, it's no big deal. Um, and it's uh, pretty straightforward and it's pretty easy. So I uh, just wanted to uh, point that out. Now, I have heard rumors that in the, the uh, pre-release build of, I think it's Skype version 14, Microsoft is bringing back the auto-answer uh, calls um, from people in your contact list. So, yay. Um, I hope that's the case. That will just streamline things and make things a lot easier. Okay, so again, make sure you set up uh, your radio uh, sound card here. Uh, under the uh, settings and that's all you need to do um, another thing too, just kind of a pro tip come on down here and for the play sounds turn this turn these off because you don't want those going over the air so just turn all of that off um, and also uh, turn off uh, allow calls from anyone uh, as well uh, just locks down your Skype account um, uh, keeps other people from uh, trying to gain access to your uh, radio and stuff. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. So just remember to scroll down and turn off all the uh, sound uh, notifications and things like that. And then once you're done there, you can close out of that and uh, we're, uh, we're good to go. So that's um, all you need for Skype and all that you need to do. So I'm just going to minimize that. Next, I'm going to fire up uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, Ham Radio Deluxe is uh, the program I use. Oh, and by the way, I am not being sponsored um, and I am not being paid uh, to say these things um, or for TeamViewer, for Microsoft, uh, for Skype, uh, for Ham Radio Deluxe. Um, I'm not being paid for any of this. I'm not being sponsored. Um, I'm just doing this uh, for fun and uh, just showing you guys how you can control your radio remotely. So... Just to disclose that. Next, I'll go ahead and open up uh, Ham Radio Deluxe here. And we'll give this just a second. And there's Ham Radio Deluxe here. And I have it set to automatically load my uh, logbook as well. So I'll just let it continue to load that, and I'll minimize that. So this is uh, my rig control uh, interface here. Um, so like I said, if you have already have... Uh, DX Labs, Comcat, or Ham Radio Deluxe, if you've got it already configured with uh, your radio, you're all set. Um, take the time to learn all your menus and, and of uh, Ham Radio Deluxe and what you can control uh, with your radio and stuff like here. I can control my power um, output. Um, over here I can do mic gain and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah. Also, know your radio as well, for example. Um, I know for me, since I'm not using a Vox 
uh, setting. Um, I actually have to come in here and click the uh, transmit button to speak. Uh, and the other thing too, um, since I'm not using a signal link or anything, I need to pass my audio um, over the uh, data connection of the uh, radio uh, through the USB cable. Um, and to do that, to pass my voice remotely uh, to the radio here, I need to enable uh, my uh, data port here. So right now I'm currently on the um, Holland uh, repeater, our uh, 06, um, uh, oh, the 06 repeater as we call it. It's our primary uh, repeater. Um, but I'll go ahead and I will uh, turn on my uh, data port here. Uh, now data is enabled on my radio, and now my audio from Skype will pass through to the uh, radio. Now, uh, each radio configuration and setup will be a little bit different, so you might need to enable your data port. You may not need to. Um, so you'll have to do a little bit of exper uh, experimenting like that. But if you're using an ICOM IC9100 uh, with just the one USB cable for rig control and audio, um, you'll definitely need to enable uh, data. Um, we don't have data 2 and data 3 on our radio, so just click uh, data 1. And uh, looking over at my radio, I see uh, the data connection there. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and initiate the Skype call here. Um, I could do it from either the remote computer or from uh, uh, the... Um, uh, from the uh, from the host computer, but I'll just slide over here and I'll do it, um, and I'll get the call started here uh, from my uh, my remote computer. So I'll call into the Shack PC, and I'll come over here and I'll answer as an audio, and um, we can uh, minimize this and uh, slide this over. Uh, the static you're hearing is actually from the radio uh, being tra uh, transmitted over uh, Skype here. Um, so it is working, which is good. I haven't found a way to turn off that uh, static uh, or to adjust the squelch yet. So I'll do some experimenting later. Um, my microphone is enabled on, the, uh, on Skype over here on my Mac, uh, as I can see here. Um, so I'll just verify that. Yep, so microphone is muted. Microphone is now available. So we're good there. Um, we'll slide back over here. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll transmit here on the repeater. And uh, we'll see if we can raise anybody here to give us a hand with our, our uh, demonstration here. And uh, we'll see how it all goes. Turn the volume down on my uh, radio here so I don't uh, get any... Uh, feedback like that. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if anybody can hear me. Uh, this is KE8BSM. Is anybody on frequency available for a signal report? NAQEM, KE8BSM. Hey, Charlie, thanks for coming back to me. Uh, I'm actually making a, a YouTube video right now on um, how to uh, set up uh, Skype uh, remotely and rig control. So I'm actually talking to you from a... Uh, uh, not, I'm not near my uh, radio right now, so I'm actually using Skype uh, to get into my radio, uh, and I'm using uh, Ham Radio Deluxe for uh, rig control. So thanks for coming back to me, Charlie. Hey, thanks again, Charlie, and thanks for uh, coming back to me. Um, we'll take a quick standby if anybody else wants to uh, jump in. This is uh, KE8BSM. All right, I think we're good. 
Hey, thanks again uh, for uh, jumping in there, Charlie. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, good to know it's working well. Thanks again, and uh, seven threes, and uh, you have a good evening. And eight QEM. This is KE eight BSM, and I will. Uh, I'll be clear. Anytime, Zach. Glad to help out when we can. We're running two watts on an indoor antenna. Eight QEM. Hey, you sound good there, uh, uh, Charlie. You're uh, full quieting into the uh, repeater as well. Uh, very good for two watts. Excellent. Good work. Thanks again, Charlie. Catch you later. KE8BSM. Okay. And that's and that's that. Um, that. I'm glad somebody was there, but uh, that was all conducted through Skype. And to initiate my uh, transmit here, I just click the TX button. I'll go ahead and I'll end the Skype call here so you're not hearing um, static there. Um, but, uh, yeah, there it is. Um, so all I'm doing for the radio is I'm just uh, hitting the TX button. I click it, and it's automatically locked down, so you have to click it again to, uh, uh, to stop transmitting there. So that's how I'm doing it, and this works from TeamViewer on my iPad, on my iPhone, and I'm using TeamViewer on my Mac, um, and, it, and it's uh, doing the job. It's working great. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching, you guys. If you found this video helpful, um, hit the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that. I also want to thank uh, the new subscribers that have joined my channel in the last month. Um, I want to say uh, uh, thank you to you guys, and thank you to the subscribers who've been around for a while who've watched my channel change and grow uh, change in terms of content um, thank you for uh, sticking around and uh, keeping up with what's going on here on uh, on my channel seven threes for now and again thanks for watching take care bye bye